What does fall 2020 hold for college students? A lot is unknown, including what tuition changes students will see. UNCG and the other 16 UNC campuses won't be refunding money to students because of COVID-19. The current policy states UNCG and other institutions may not provide refunds on housing or student fees should the situation change based on COVID-19. That includes closing residence halls or shifting to distance learning. She's, she wanted to stay on campus and the thing with that is she don't understand what they're going to do about the COVID neither. So it's just like everyone's really just trying to stay safe through it all, but we don't really know how they're going to go about that. Amari Eaton says her best friend who will attend UNCG doesn't financially know what will happen. Amari herself is attending Winston-Salem State University, a UNC system school. But for me, that would most likely impact me a lot because it's clearly taking a lot for me to even get the funds up to go to school. So it's, I'm, I'm not even sure how I would feel about that in the future. We asked Winston-Salem State University if their refund policies are the same. We're told Winston-Salem State has not made any revisions to our housing agreement at this time. They've also not made decisions about refunds if students go home early. I just feel like that would leave us down bad if they were to do us like that. As for UNCG parents and students, they have until July 11th to cancel their housing application.